Uh, hello? Uh, my name is, uh, Chaplain Smithers, and, uh, I have a message for my Commander-in-Chief, Mr. President. <clears throat> Respectfully, sir, you can go to hell right where you came from. That's right. And I don't care if, if I'm committing sedition. The threat from the chief of the army that if I say something to my congregation that I could be prosecuted. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm standing for my faith. That's right. You know, it doesn't matter if you're a Jew or a born again or a Mormon or if you even believe in God. If you believe in freedom, what I'm fighting for, you know, you're going to stand against tyranny. Not only foreign, but domestic. Man, you are domestic. Mr. President Obama, you're a tyrant. You're supposed to sustain and support the Constitution. It guarantees freedom from this kind of oppression. We have unalienable rights from God, and you're trying to take them away. Well, man, I'm, I'm not doing it. I say no way. Like the letter that the Catholic leader sent out read to the other members in the military, even though they weren't supposed to. I think it's evil. I just got to say it. It's satanic, man. Forcing people to go against their beliefs, especially when it's killing unborn babies. You know, the HHS ought to be called the SS. Forcing people to do abortion-inducing drugs and pay for abortions and, you know, this ain't Nazi Germany, man. You know, I read about Diedrich Bonhoeffer. He resisted. I'm resisting, too. What are you going to do about it? Huh? There are others that are going to resist. Die for their faith if they have to. And as a Mormon chaplain, I stand with other chaplains and say, no, no, we're not going to do it. We're not going to worship tyranny. Not here in America, where God inspired the U.S. Constitution. And Obama's stomping all over it, treating it like trash. Man, you know, I got orders from a higher power. And I, I got to stand resisting this kind of destruction of faith in the unborn when we've lost divine influence in this country well then we ain't got no promise and indeed we're lost i stand in resistance